In highway or railroad construction, the most curves generally used presently are the circular curves and parabolic curves. Circular curves are used in horizontal design while vertical curves or vertical design uses parabolic curves. In this first video, we will discuss the concept of the simple curve. Simple curve is one of the types of circular curve. So we have the simple compound and reverse curve. So simple curve is a curve that comes from a circle with tangents intersecting at the point of intersection with the center at point O and radius R. So the elements that we have are the following. So this is the center of the curve. R is for the radius, PT is the point of tangency, PI is the point of intersection, we have T the tangent line as well as this one we have the PC or the point of curvature LC refers to the length of the curve while E is the external distance or the distance from the curve to the point of intersection we also have M M is the distance from the curve to the cord connecting PC and PT so M is the middle ordinate. We have this chord is your C or the long chord. Simple curve is the most common curve that is generally used for railroad and highway construction. Symbol curve also uses the geometric properties of the circle. So let's try to derive all the formulas of the elements here in the curve. So this is your central angle I. This is I over 2, I over 2, as well as this angle and this angle.
So, by metric system, arc basis, we can derive the degree of the curve D using arc basis. But first, let us define D or the degree of the curve. So the degree of the curve is the angle at the center subtended by an arc equal to 20 meters. So degree of the curve is the angle at center subtended by a 20 meter arc. So this is how we illustrate the arc basis. So if this is an arc of 20 meters and this is the curve. This is the radius and this is the degree of the curve D. We also have a circle here. So this is your radius and this is the whole circle with a circumference of 2 pi r so by ratio and proportion we have d is to 20 meters is equal to the whole revolution of 360 degrees over 2 pi times the radius. If we try to simplify, this will become d equals 360 times 20 over 2 pi radius so we have d equals 360 times 20 over 2 pi equals 1145.5 nine one six over the radius so this is our first formula now we can write this formula we have r equals one one four five point nine one six over d so we already derived two formulas Now, let's try to derive the formula for tangent distance. Notice that the tangent line and the radius makes an angle of 90 degrees. So, considering triangle... O. So this is your PC, this is P, I, and this tangent line. So we have an angle of 90 degrees, and this angle is I over 2. This is your radius. So using the property of a right triangle, so we, we have T is equal to the radius multiplied by 
the tangent of the angle I over 2. So this is our third formula. For the value of C or the long curve, let's consider this triangle. So we have here the triangle, this triangle. So we have O. Let's call this point P. So this is A and this is PT. So this is C over 2. This is the radius. So to solve for the value of C, we have our I over 2. So by using the sine function, we have sine I over 2 equals opposite over hypotenuse. So rewriting the equation, we have C is equal to 2 times the radius sine I over 2. So this is the fourth equation. Now, for the value of LC or the length of the curve, we can solve the value of LC. This is your sector, this is your LC, this is your I, and this is the radius. So LC is equal to the radius times the central angle. By using the arc basis, we can solve for LC using ratio and proportion. So this is D and this is 20. So we have LC is to I is equal to 20 over D. So we have LC equals 20 I over D. So we have only two remaining um, formulas to be derived. So we have E and we have M. So Considering this triangle, this is I over two, this is T, this is PC, this is this is your radius. This is half of the curve. And this is your external distance. This is also the radius. Using the cosine law, we have cosine i over 2 
cosine function rather this is equal to the radius over radius plus external distance if you write the equation we have e plus r equals r over cosine i over 2 so we have to transpose the r on the left side so that we will be having e equals r over cosine i over 2 minus r to simplify we have e equals r times the quantity of 1 over cosine i over 2 minus r or it can be written as e equals r second or not 1 rather i over 2 minus 1 So we have our sixth formula. Lastly, we have the middle ordinate M. So considering this triangle, we have A, so this is A. We have O and we have PT. This is the value of the radius. This is C over 2. And this is radius minus M. This is I over 2. So again, by using cosine function, we have cosine I over 2 equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So we have to rewrite the equation so r cosine i over 2 equals r minus m if we transpose m here and r cosine i minus 2 here the equation will look like m equals r minus r cosine i over 2 Simplifying more, we have m equals r times 1 minus cosine i over 2. So we have our formula for m. So again, let's recap. So we have the formula for d. Given the value of the radius, we have the formula for the radius given the value of d. We have the formula for the tangent, for the long chord, for the length of the curve, and another formula of the length of the curve using arc basis. We also have here the formula for the external distance and the formula for the middle ordinate.